Hello friends, so this is a very quick blog on adding an auto incrementing column value to a data flow task in the form of a derived column. So let's try to see how we can add a unique valued auto incrementing a column value when it is not present in the source or in the destination. So what we have here is, is we have two employee tables. Uh, the schema of which is is slightly different in a different in the form of a single column that is employee id so we have three records uh, in the source table uh, while we have no records in the target table uh, but the difference is in the target table we have an additional eid int primary key value valued columns so uh, we are supposed to push the data from the source to to the target uh, without with uh, with adding a unique valued uh, auto incrementing value uh, of uh, of int type so we will try to uh, uh, explore the solution in the form of ssis onto this problem so let's uh, look at what we have in the ssis we have created a connection to the server uh, and then we have created we have actually a sql task to get the maximum value from the target table and that is and that we pass this value uh, from this table on to the variable so what we are trying to do is we have selected a single uh, result set and then passed on this uh, maximum value of employee id uh, onto the var max id variable so that's all that we are doing here so what this uh, this would do here is So this is it. So since there is no record in the uh, in the target table, it is it is uh, fetching a value zero. Next, what we do here is we have a data flow task, uh, the source of which is our uh, source table with the employee name and, uh, and the salary, and so this is the source that is uh, which we we need to uh, push to the dest uh, destination of the production target tables. Uh, next what we do uh, do is we add a script component and in the script component we are reading the variable uh, var max id and we are using one column that is employee name uh, in the form of the input columns so that's all that we are and that's also read only uh, now let's try to look at the c sharp script that we have written to generate a hypothetical uh, column in the form of uh, auto incrementing uh, int value so the script that we need uh, to write is fairly simple uh, it would look at the maximum id value and uh, which is uh, being pulled uh, and, and and passed on to vax max uh, var max id and then create an auto incrementing value uh, thereafter so that we have unique uniquely incremented value generated in the form of a, a additional column so let's try to take a look at the script so if you look at uh, the script we just need to add these uh, two lines of code we have uh, we have declared uh, int value of initial initialized to one, and thereafter we are calling a row, row number uh, derived column, and then we are incrementing the max id variable, var max id variable plus uh, the value. So this uh, uh, this would uh, be auto incrementing uh, valued uh, data. So that's all that we have done here. and then we will be pushing this value to the target so in the destination if you see what we have is is the target employee table and the target employee table is uh, is mapped to the row number employee uh, to the employee id and e name and salary respectively so now if you see currently our production table is empty and uh, let's try to run this uh, SSIS
package. So there, there you go. We have uh, pushed the data with the help uh, with a prime uh, auto incrementing data value. Now let's try to uh, truncate the source and then insert two more records to it. Right. So now our source looks. like this so we are to, uh, to uh, insert or push two more records so let's rerun this package and then take a look so it should be uh, auto incrementing uh, from 4 from the value 4 that is uh, the next incremented value from the max one so now if we see we can see Mike and Ricky also being pushed with the value 4 and 5 so that's that's was that was a quick t tutorial on, on uh, on adding a derived column and then uh, auto incrementing that uh, to push the data in the form of a data flow transformation. Thanks friend.